Let's move to the other three types of methods that I talked about. Questionnaires, interviews and focus groups and interventions. In all of these cases, you're going to be using participants. And I'm going to come on to participants in a little while because that's an important thing to consider as well. Questionnaires usually are online questionnaires. I really, really recommend online questionnaires. Unless you've got a seriously good reason for wanting a paper copy of a questionnaire, go with the online. Even if they're going to be there in the room with you, give them a little QR code on screen because these days everybody's got a smartphone. They can zap the QR code, go straight to the online questionnaire and do it on their phone. The reason I recommend this is if you do a paper copies, first of all, you've got to keep all of that paper safe because that's data and you've got to be really, really careful with any data. But also, you're going to have to basically transfer all that data onto a computer because you're going to need it in like an Excel file to be able to analyze it. That's a lot of work when it comes to analysis. Most online questionnaires, you just click a button and download the Excel with all the data in them. So that's why I recommend that. There's loads of online questionnaire systems that you can use. There really, really are. And I'm going to talk a little bit more later about questionnaire design, but I just want to mention now, there's a billion different systems you can use, but you need to think about which system is most appropriate for the kind of study that you're doing. So first of all, you need to make sure the system has secure data. That means actually looking at their data protection statements and making sure that you can justify it because you're going to have to make this argument to ethics. If you want to use Google Forms, how do Google Forms keep their data safe? Secondly, you're going to want a system that enables you to do things like skip logic. Let me explain what that means. Skip logic is basically when you ask somebody a question and the next question or where the questionnaire takes you next is dependent on their answer. Now, the reason this is really important for some system, for some questionnaires, is because you're probably going to have inclusion criteria or exclusion criteria at the start of your questionnaire. At the very least, you're going to have a consent form where they're going to have to tick to agree to certain statements. If they don't tick to agree to certain statements, you want to send them straight to the end, which says a page which says, I'm sorry, you cannot participate in this questionnaire if you don't consent to participate. Similarly, if you ask the question about their age and they say they're under the age of 18 and you're not studying children, you would need to skip them to the page that says, I'm sorry, you have to be over the age of 18 to participate in this study. Maybe you're also specifically looking at counsellors. And so you'd ask the question, are you a qualified counsellor? Or maybe you want them to be in practice with clients at the moment, or they're a trainee on a specific type of course. If there's anything specific about your population that you are looking at, you need to have those inclusion questions right at the very start of your questionnaire, and you need to ask them. And if they answer in a way that doesn't meet your criteria, you got to kick them out of the questionnaire. What you don't want is the questionnaire to just not let them go to the next page without them answering the correct answer. Because most people are like, click, click, click. What's wrong with it? It must be broken. I'm going to leave. And that can make them pretty cross. It just feels like it's a broken questionnaire. You want them to actually take them to a page that says, I'm sorry, you can't continue with this questionnaire because X. The other thing about questionnaires that you need to bear in mind is that you might want to ask questions where things then split. So I ask, have you ever had counselling? And if they say no, I move to the next set of questions. But if they say yes, I ask for more details. How, how many sessions did you have? How useful did you find it? And so on. So you want a system that will enable you to split and follow the data in different ways. Finally, you want a system where the data can be downloaded in a way that is really engageable for you and easy to analyse. What you do not want is an online system where when you download the data, every participant is a separate file. Because again, like the paper stuff, you're going to then have to copy all of that into the internet, into the Excel, and that's a massive load of work. So hold all of those things in mind when you're thinking about a system. So make sure that you're, you pick a system that is really useful. Myself, I tend to use a system called SciToolkit. I find it very effective for all of those reasons. And while initially getting your head around the coding can be a little bit tricky, once you get your head into it, not only have you learned a brilliant new skill, but also it's a really useful way of being able to gather data that does everything you need it to do. <clears throat> okay, so questionnaires are typically going to be used when you just want to gather information from your participants. In some cases, that might be just, 
I'm going to do a questionnaire before I do an interview just to be able to do the consent form and get some initial demographic information and so on. In some cases, your entire study might just be a questionnaire. Maybe you're really interested in how one measure relates to another measure and how those two things go together. So you're just going to ask a questionnaire about these two things. So questionnaires could also be entirely descriptive. Maybe I'm just really interested in how people interact with their dogs and how that impacts on their mental health. So I just ask lots of descriptive questions in there. So questionnaire is really just about gathering data from your participants.